Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Sami here. Today we are gonna see, what if, Naruto x Akami, part 1. Hope you'll enjoy this video. So before we start please subscribe to our channel, and like this video. So let's get into the video. Afternoon on the road, there is currently a carriage being rid towards the capital city, while in the back is a cloaked figure holding on a midnight black scabbard, while he's also writing in a white book that says loveless on the cover. Suddenly they were stopped, as an earth dragon suddenly rising from the ground. It's an earth dragon. One yelled when the dragon went in for an attack, but it was stopped, as its right arm was missing, and a cloaked figure appeared behind it. Weak, and I thought it was a first class danger beast. Earth dragon was strong he said, as he looked back at the dragon which roared and swung its left arm, but he jumped high, and in one fast movement chops the dragon in half. He then takes off his cloak revealing himself as Naruto, which he proceeds to wipe the blade that has blood on it with his cloak. His sword looks like the Lich King's sword Frostmourne from World of Warcraft. His outfit looks exactly like Genesis Rapsodo's outfit from Final Fantasy. That was amazing. One of the carriage drivers says, running to Naruto who sheaths his sword. You actually took a dangerous beast down single-handedly. The other says, which Naruto just shrugs, not really caring. You can call me Naruto, and no need to praise me, I didn't want to see two citizens killed. They only came here to get cash from my village. Now shall we continue? Naruto said with a smile. Time skip to capital city. Amazing, Naruto said looking at the wall of the center of the imperial city, but he then felt it like a pulse of energy, and turns, but all he finds is no one sitting at a table with a hot cup of tea, causing Naruto's eyes to narrow which he turns around, and heads for the barracks. Inside the barracks, oh you're an applicant, too, huh? Fill out this form, and bring it back to me, the man at the front table said, giving Naruto a piece of paper with his eyes twitching looking at it. Starting out in the infantry Naruto said, getting annoyed at this. Obviously, the man was cut off by Naruto grabbing him by his shirt, and causing him to look face to face with a very annoyed Naruto. I have no time for this shit. I need to start as a commanding officer, Naruto said to him, but soon he realizes he was being dragged out by two soldiers, and thrown out which he rolls, and hits the wall. What was that for? Naruto yelled, annoyed at the man. Don't be ridiculous. Due to the recession, we're flooded with applicants. There are limits, as to how many we can hire he yelled, causing Naruto to sweat drop at what he did. Though, Naruto said to the man. If you get it, scram, you damned brat. He yelled, as he slammed the door shut while Naruto looked down sadly. Damn I screwed up again, well should I cause a scene or not, wish I had a coin, Naruto thought, as he scratched his head, and remembered he had a bag full of cash, and when he went to get it, he realized there's a shadow over him, and heard someone say hi. Causing Naruto to turn seeing a tall, beautiful young woman with large breasts, as well as having short blonde hair with two long bangs that frame the sides of her head, and yellow eyes which Naruto then blushes red at the woman, and looks at her breasts inches away from his causing her to blink in surprise. What's wrong with you? She asked, causing Naruto to blush more, as he looked away. Drawn by dreams of making it in the capital, you came all the way from the country. She said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise at this, but they narrowed again. I doubt that I was after all talking loudly so you must have been the young lady at the table. Naruto said, causing her to blink in surprise, and she laughed. Impressive, you know I've lived in the capital long enough, and I know a quick way to get hired for government services, she says, causing Naruto's eyes to widen, but they narrow again, as he raises an eyebrow while crossing his arms. Really Naruto asks, as she nods. Want to know how? She asks him. What's the catch Naruto said to her while she smiled happily, then treat a lady to a meal. She said smiling brightly, as Naruto sighs with a smile, and Chuckles should have guessed she would say that. At the pub, Naruto and the woman are currently at a table where Naruto watches her drink down a cup of beer in a couple of gulps surprising him, and after she gives a laugh while blushing. Drinking during the day sure is fantastic. Have a drink, young man. Let's have some fun. She says, holding up a bottle of alcohol. Are you trying to get me drunk enough to get in bed with you which I won't complain about or trying to steal all my money when I'm drunk, but either way just tell me how I can get hired by the government. Naruto says to her which she then pours herself a glass of alcohol. Well, that's simply having connections and money, she said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise while repeating the word money. I know a guy in the military. If you give him cash, he'll get it real quick. She said which Naruto smirks understanding her game, and puts on a smile taking out a bag which she thinks there's money in it, but all that's inside is some round pieces of metal to use, as a decoy for his cash, just in case he gets robbed, which when the metal moves around makes the same sound, as normal coins do. Oh, absolutely. She said, smiling with sparkles in her eyes, eyeing the bag. On my way here, I collected some rewards for slaying dangerous beasts, though they weren't really a challenge, Naruto said, causing her to blink in surprise, but smile at Naruto. So you're strong. You'll be a commanding officer in no time. She said, as Naruto just smiled. That's right. I'll leave it to you Naruto said while she stands up taking the cash, and turns to Naruto giving him a wave. I think your encounter with me will serve as a valuable lesson, kid. I'm gonna go take care of this, so wait there for me, okay? 
she says. As she walks away while Naruto just smiles saying quietly oh yes, this will be a valuable lesson for me or maybe you. The Bart enters sighs seeing this, and guesses back to work. Four hours later, Naruto is currently waiting for the lady to return with the medal he gave her, but she hasn't come back, making him start to wonder something. Sir, we're closing soon, the bartender said, as Naruto nodded. I'm waiting for someone, Naruto says, but the man just sighs, as he looks at Naruto. Sorry to break it to you, but you've been dwindling, he said to which Naruto nodded. I know that I gave her a bag full of coin-shaped metal. I was waiting for her to come back angry, Naruto said, as he looked in his bag, and took out his cash, and when he opened it, he immediately shouted. Damn it, I gave her the wrong bag Naruto shouts loudly, and hits his head against the table with the nine tears coming down his face. Time Skip Street Naruto is currently on the street laying against a wall holding his bag, and places the metal bag full of metal coins in it. Naruto reaches her, and holds his sword with his arms. Better get some sleep, Naruto said to himself, but stops, as he notices two guards driving a carriage, and they stop right in front of him when the door opens. Again, my lady? The man asks her. You know I can't help it. It's my nature, she replied, as it opens to which she sees a teenager come out of it, and stop in front of Naruto bending down to him. If you have nowhere to sleep, would you like to stay at my home? She asks him which Naruto starts thinking. If she tries anything, I can just kill her, and her entire family along with the guards. I don't have any money, Naruto finally said while laughing. You wouldn't be sleeping here if you did, would you? She said to him, as she stood up straight while the two drivers walked behind her, and stopped. Lady Arya can't ignore people like you, one said. You should accept her generosity, the other said, wearing a helmet. What would you like to do? Arya asks which Naruto just sighs. Fine, Naruto said, causing her to smile at this. At Arya's mansion at the living room, Arya brought someone home again, the father said sitting near his wife and daughter. It's simply her habit. I wonder how many there have been, the wife says, causing Naruto's eyes to narrow at that. Mother Arya said to her while Naruto gave her a light bow. Thank you for your hospitality, Naruto says to him, as he starts to look at the people suspiciously. Please take a seat, the father said which Naruto does, and the father takes a sip out of his tea. I see you want to gain military success, and save your village, the father said which Naruto nodded. But you know within the imperial capital, it is peaceful. However, this country is surrounded by three different races. You could be assigned to the international border to fight, he says, all Naruto does is touch his sword. We're prepared, Naruto said, confusing the three at the weird part. I see what an impressive spirit. This is exactly how the young should be, he said to Naruto. Did you come from the village all by yourself, Naruto? Education asks which Naruto shook his head. Three others, but Naruto said looking down. Flashback, Naruto, Seo, and Ayasu are currently at the entrance to their snowy village in front of the village chief, while it's currently snowing. Alright. We'll be on our way, chief. Naruto said with a smile which the chief nodded. Right. You've had the ability to fortify one another's strengths. Take that ability, and grab your chance for success. Chief says to them. Leave it to us. We'll bring wealth to the village, Seo says which Ayasu nods. That way, we won't starve to death. Well, it'll probably take years for Master Ayasu's name to become known, Ayasu says while Seo looks at Ayasu not believing him. Ayasu will probably get the guillotine for breaking the law, Seo said, causing Naruto to chuckle, as they begin arguing. It seems you all have enough spirit. Now, Naruto here's my last parting gift. Take this with you, the chief says, handing Naruto the wooden statue of their god. I've already told you that I lost faith in God a long time ago, Naruto says while the chief sighs, and touches Naruto's shoulder with his right hand. Even if you had a dark beginning, remember, don't let the past affect your future, the chief said, as Naruto looked away. My past will always haunt me, including that mark. It can never leave my body. Naruto said with anger drawing his two friends' attention. Keep her close to you, and God will surely help you, chief says, as Naruto's eyes narrow at the statue. Flashback end. You see, after we said our goodbye ages, bandits attacked us, and ever since we've been separated, Naruto said to them. Oh, dear, the wife said. They're strong, so I'm not necessarily worried, but all I have left is attacking me to do this work, Naruto said to them. Very well, then, the father said, confusing Naruto. I'll put in a good word with a military acquaintance. And I'll request a search for those two. As well, the father said, causing Naruto to smile. Really Naruto said, smiling brightly, and then bowing. Thank you so much. Naruto says to him. My intuitions are usually spot on. I think you'll see the two of them soon, Arya said, causing Naruto to smile more at this. Next day in the streets of the capital. Next, we're going to that store Arya says to them, as Naruto is currently watching two soldiers having trouble carrying all the stuff Arya bought. Please wait, my lady. The guard yelled while Naruto was staring at the mountain of things Arya brought. It's not just the lady all women are like this, the soldier who's guarding the gift says. I only know those who chose what to wear right away, Naruto said thinking about Seiya yelling at him. But anyway, Naruto, the soldier said, drawing his full attention. Yes? Naruto asks, wanting to know what he wants to say to him. 
Take a look at that, the soldier says, as Naruto turns around. Huh? Naruto says, as he looks ahead towards the center of the city. Over there, you can see in the distance the imperial capital's center, the palace, the soldier said to him. I heard the emperor is the one who can change a country Naruto asked, but the soldier shook his head. No it's a little different than that, he said, and moved to Naruto's ear. There's an emperor, but he's only a child. The prime minister controls the emperor from the shadows. Abs he's the reason why this country rots, he says causing Naruto's eyes to widen, and before he could say anything the soldier puts his hand over Naruto's mouth. Don't say anything suspicious. If anyone hears us, they'll have our heads, he said, pulling his gags away. My village also suffers from heavy taxation because, Naruto said, and gritted his teeth. In the capital, it's an accepted practice, he says, causing Naruto to grit his teeth more. And there are others like those over there, the soldier says pointing at wanted posters of Nitrate. Nitrate Naruto said, confused at never hearing them before. They're a group of assassins that's terrifying the imperial capital. As the name suggests, they attack their victims at night. They mainly target high-ranking executives, and the capital's upper class. Prepare yourself, just in case, he said to which Naruto nodded. Also, could you do something about that? He asks, pointing towards the giant gift the two soldiers are holding. WTF. Naruto yelled loudly while sweat dropping. Night at the mansion, Naruto's eyes open eyes away, as he feels murderous intent, and instantly gets dressed while he grabs his blade, and runs towards the door opening it, and starts running down the hall. I'm getting a bad, Naruto stops midway, as his eyes widen while he looks towards the window to find five people balancing themselves in wires, while Naruto's eyes widen, recognizing the one who has his money. Nitrate, Naruto thought with narrowed eyes. Just because they're wealthy, you'll target this place, too Naruto thought, as he then sees a soldier attacking Naruto watches, as he sees the three guards get killed easily. Wicked, they all possess a Naruto said, as he gripped his blade, and started running down the hall heading for Arya. Outside, hurry, my lady. This way. The guard yells running fast holding into Arya's left hand with his own leading the way. What's going on Arya asks when they see the storehouse on sight, and in the opening. We must get to the storehouse. It'll be safe there. He said to her. There you are Naruto yelled, drawing their attention to find Naruto breathing in and out. Naruto. Arya said, surprised when the soldier turned to him. You came at a good time. We're going into the storehouse, she is waiting for the authorities. In the meantime, you fend them off, the guard says, causing Naruto's eyes to widen. Wait wa, Naruto was cut off, as he heard someone land behind him, causing him to turn towards the young girl with long black hair, that reaches down to her knees, and red eyes. She wears a dark sleeveless mini dress with a white collar, and a red tie, she wears a red belt that has a red side skirt cover. She wears it with long black socks, and black shoes. She also wears red gauntlets, and black gloves. Naruto's eyes widen thinking she looks beautiful, which suddenly Naruto's grip on his sword handle suddenly veins start building from his right hand, causing Naruto to grab his right arm in pain. Naruto remembers the name of the wager's poster Akame. Wicked, calm down Naruto said quietly, as the veins start to get smaller, while he gains back control of his right arm which he draws out his sword, and Akame charges fast. Not a target, Akame says, causing his eyes to widen which Akame jumps on Naruto's head, and jinks off which he turns to find the soldier slashed on the stomach, after she dodged his bullets. Arya falls on the ground while Akame raises her sword. Elmina, Akame was cut off, as she dodged Naruto's said strike. You aren't a target. There's no need to kill you, Akame said while she currently sees Naruto standing in front of a currently scared Arya. Sorry, can't let you do that, Naruto said to her while they stare down at each other. If you get in my way, I'll kill you, Akame says while Naruto raises an eyebrow. Then bring it, Naruto says while his sword reflects the light of the moon off of it. Then I shall eliminate you, Akame says, causing his eyes to narrow. So dirty. Dirty. Leon says, walking towards them from behind Akame when she notices Naruto. We may be equally matched, but if I release no, I can never resort to that, Naruto thought to himself which both charge at the exact same time, and they swing their sword which connects, and Naruto pushes her way at swings his sword which Akame jumps high, and does a kick, but Naruto slams his hand up into her legs, causing her to lose balance, and hit the ground which she dodges Naruto's blade, and then stands up facing Naruto. You're good, Naruto says with a smile, and stares at Naruto. You, as well. Eliminate, Akame says, and charges at Naruto who does the same which both bring their swords back, and swing at the same time which both swords had for each other's neck, and both start moving back, as well trying to invade each other's blade, but suddenly Leon grabs Akame by the back of her collar, and pulls her back, while saying hold on which Naruto blinked in surprise. What are you doing? Akame asks, looking at Leon. We still have time, right? I owe this kid a favor. I figured I'd repay it, Leon said while Naruto's eyes twitched. I meant to give you a bag full of metal coins. That was a screw up on my part Naruto yelled pointing at her, while Leon just smiled. That's right, whiskers. The beautiful lady that you said you wouldn't mind getting in bed with, Leon said causing Naruto to blush at that, while age waves at him. 
Young man, these people are far from good, Leon said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise, as she walks past Ten towards the storehouse. Will you be able to say the same thing after seeing this, Leon said, as she proceeds to blow open the doors with one hit, and Naruto walks towards her. Take a good look. This is the Imperial Capital's darkness, Leon, as Naruto stops next to her, while his eyes widen in horror seeing it. What is this, Naruto said, completely shocked. They lure people from the countryside with sweet words, torturing them, and playing with them until they're dead. That is what this household really is, Leon said while Naruto falls on his knees looking up at the naked, beaten, and dead body of Seo. Seo, Naruto said with a wide grin, as he proceeded to grab his head while gripping on his sword. Is it someone you knew Leon asks, as stops Arya from leaving. Hold on, Leon said, grabbing her head, and making her turn. But you asking for a bit much, trying to run away like that Leon said while Naruto took out the wooden statue of their god. I was right. There is no god in this world. This is hell, Naruto said, as he crushed the god's statue in his left hand, and stood up. Naruto it's you, right, Naruto. It's me, someone said, causing Naruto's eyes to whiten, as he turned slowly to find Ayasu all bloody, and only wearing boxers. Ayasu. Naruto said with white eyes. That girl invited Seo, and me to her home. And after we ate, we lost consciousness, and when we came, we were here gh that girl tortured Seo to death Ayasu yelled, as he began crying while Naruto was white eyed. What's so wrong with that Arya yelled, knocking Leon's hand away. You're all worthless hicks from the country. The same as cattle. I'm free to do whatever I want to them, aren't I? And that woman even though she was just cattle, her hair was smooth. Who does she think she is? When I struggle with my unruly hair. That's why I made sure age suffered, Arya was cut off, as Naruto slashes her left arm off causing her to scream in pain. I've heard enough from you, wicked jester you can have fun, do whatever you like to this wicked soul, Naruto said, as the sword glows bright dark purple, causing both Akame and Leon's eyes to whiten, as suddenly a jet black arm comes out of the sword, and proceeds to phase through Arya's stomach, causing her eyes to whiten, as she screams more, and what happened next is shocking, the hand begins pulling out a light blue human shaped soul, looking like Arya except the hair which the soul is screaming loudly, as it's dragged into the soul, now suffer for eternity with the wicked jester, Naruto said, as the sword stopped glowing, it is done. She will be tortured forever, Naruto says with a lifeless look in his eyes, while Leon was wide. Without a doubt, that's the wicked jester Tigu I thought it was destroyed for being too dangerous. Leon thought with white eyes while Naruto sheaths his sword. Ahehe, <laughs> that's Naruto for you, he truly is scary when he's pissed, but that felt great seeing him do that, after Ayasu finished he vomited up blood which Naruto turns to him, and runs into the storehouse making a left, and runs to Ayasu which he lays him down slowly. Ayasu, Naruto said with white eyes. It's the final stage of the war. The mother of the house enjoyed drugging her victims. And she wrote about it in detail in her diary. He cannot be saved, Akame said, causing his eyes to whiten. Naruto, Ayasu says, causing him to look down at his best friend. Seo she never got into that bitch. Even to the very end, she was so cool so master Ayasu had to have a cool end, Ayasu said, reaching his hand up high towards the corking, but his eyes close, as his hand fell while he still had that bright smile which Naruto caught the hand that fell. It seems he kept himself alive by will alone, Akame said, as Naruto put both of Ayasu's hands on his chest. Naruto has a broken look in his eyes while he's gripping his sword. Let's go, Akame said, but she was cut off by Leon. Hey let's bring the kid too. Leon says while Akame turns to her while Leon throws over her shoulder while he's still gripping on his sword with that broken look in his eyes. Our secret base is always short-handed. Ha has luck, courage, and even skill. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I'll bring their bodies to our secret base later, so don't worry, Leon said, causing his eyes to whiten, but they became locked again after he said thanks. Four minutes later, the late mine yells while waiting for them with the others on the wire, while they notice Naruto in Leon's arms, having a broken look on his face, and in his eyes. From now on he'll be one of us, Leon said while Akame looks at Naruto, and touches his cheek which she starts petting it, and causing Naruto's eyes to close, and purr which Akame blushes at it, thinking it cute while the other look at each other not hearing it, and thinking if they should bring him along. Ilaki, I'll leave him to you Leon says while Blue picks Naruto up in his right arm. Don't worry, I've seen this look more than once. You'll find a new reason to live, I promise, Blue is said looking at the sleeping Naruto who passed out from all that's happened, as well as Akame who put him to sleep from petting his whisker marks. Mission complete. Time to return, Akame says, as all of them begin heading back to base. Inside the wicked blade, please no more. Arya said with her body severed in many ways standing in front of a monster. He looks like my profile picture, while his face looks like this fanfiction's cover image. Sooner or later my profile picture will change, so ask if you don't see it. What you did can never fit forgiven so, I get to torture you for, as long, as I want. Wicked Jester yells laughing. Three days later, Naruto is currently looking at the two gravestones with yellow flowers with a sad look in his eyes. We three swear that, as we live together, we'll die together. 
Don't worry my friends, I will avenge you, Naruto thought to himself, and suddenly a pair of arms wrapped around his, as Leon's are now one Naruto's head, causing him to blink in surprise, as he looks up at Leon's breasts, and blushes, as she smiles. So have you decided to join us yet Leon asks which Naruto nods to her. Yeah, I'll join you, Naruto said, as he stood up while she shoves his head into her left breast, causing him to blush. You've got a real talent for killing, you know, Leon said while Naruto looked away. Well, it didn't even faze me since I killed it when I was just a child, Naruto says, confusing her, but all she does is smile, then she starts dragging Naruto away from the cliff. Anyway, I'll introduce you to the others today Leon says while Naruto looks up at Akame watching them, but she continues on her way. Inside HQ, I'm glad you'll be honing us, Shiel says with a smile. Hey. Wait a second, Leon, Mine said at the doorway drawing their attention. Why did you let him into our headquarters, Mine asks, as she points at Naruto. He's one of us now, Leon said, as Mine took a few steps forward. I don't recall agreeing to that, Mine said, as she then is face to face with Naruto, as both are staring at each other. Weak, there's no way you could work with professionals like us, Mine says turning around. What Naruto said, getting annoyed. Don't take it to heart. Mine treats everyone this way, Leon said which Naruto then thought of something, and smirks. So you're the bitch of the group hot, pink haired banshee, Naruto said, causing Mine's eye to twitch, while both Leon and Shio laugh at that. Training ground, the training grounds here are good for blowing off stress. And that guy over there who's probable reeking of sweat right now is Bulet, Leon says pointing to Bulet who's currently swinging around his staff, causing the wind to pick up around him, which Naruto's eyes widen in surprise at that, and in one move sends, and strong gust of wind in all directions. Bulet turns towards them, finally noticing them. You must be the kid from the other day, Bulet said walking toward him while Naruto's eye twitches at being called a kid again. You must be the guy in the armor so it's nice to meet you, and name Naruto, Naruto says, extending his hand which both shake. He's gay, Leon said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise. Hey, now. Don't give him the wrong idea, okay? Gula says with a blush causing a cold chill to run up Naruto's neck. Okay he's starting to creep the hell out of me. Naruto thought, sweating. Hot springs, they find a green haired guy currently hiding on a small cliff looking at the hot springs. It's almost time for Miss Leon's bath he said, then stood up making a fist with his right hand. For a glimpse of those tits, I'll brave any danger, he was cut off by someone behind him saying then. How about I break two of your fingers Leon says, as she proceeds to bend his fingers, causing Lubbock to scream like a little bitch, while Naruto sweats drops, while Leon puts her foot on Lubbock's back preventing him from getting up. Damn it. This won't stop me Lubbock said, while Naruto smiles at his bit of giving up attitude. Then I'll break your arm too. That aside, these idiots Lubbock, Leon said, as Naruto nods, as they walk down towards the water, and begin walking across from the river while Naruto notices it's almost sunset. Next is Ah, next up is a pretty lady, so I'm sure you won't be disappointed after all you two almost killed each other, Leon says, as they stop at a corner, and she points in another direction. See? Over there's Akame. Isn't she cute Leon says, as they find Akame eating at a campfire with an evil bird being cooked which she turns to them. Wow. Big appetite you have there, Naruto said with a smile, as he sat down next to Akame. You eat too, Leon, Akame said, as she passed her a piece of the bird which she caught. Thanks, Leon said, then she looked at Naruto while they both stared at each other. Have you decided to join us? Akame asks which Naruto gives a quick nod, while Akame hands Naruto a piece of the evil bird. Thank you, Naruto says, as he begins chowing down on the food. Tastes like chicken, Naruto said while eating with a smile on his face. Wow, you sure went all out tonight, Leon said, walking forward now behind them. The boss is back, Akame said, causing his eyes to whiten. Boss Naruto said while Leon looked behind the bird to find the boss they were talking about. Oh? Boss Leon said, and she just gave a small wave while Nagenda said to her. Welcome back. Did you bring any souvenirs, Leon asks, but Nagenda cuts her off for some reason. One moment, Leon. I hear you exceeded the time limit on the job three days ago, Nagenda said, as her metal right arm twitched. Crap. Was all Leon thought, as age started running. Run for us run Naruto yelled, but she was stopped by Nagenda's metal shark, firing like a spear grabbing Leon by the back of her scarf, and begins reeling her in. Wow, maybe saying that when Lubit tries to run would have been much better, Naruto said, sweat dropping at this. I wouldn't recommend taking too much pleasure in fighting. It's a habit you should try to break, Nagenda said to her. Okay. Just stop reeling me and Leon whines, while Naruto just sighs at the girl when Nagenda finally lets go of Leon, when her hand returns to her. Anyway, who's this young man? Nagenda asks looking at Naruto which Leon instantly stands up patting Naruto on the back. He has great talent, and was able to match Akami, boss Leon said to which she blinked in surprise. Are you sure Nagenda asks, as she nods. I do, and he carries the wicked jester blade he has promised, Leon said, causing Naruto's eyes to whiten at what she said from her already knowing his blade, as well as narrowing Nagenda's eyes. Akami, gather the others, Nagenda said while putting her trench coat on. I want your report, along with more details on this young man, Nagenda said to them. 
time skip at night. They're in the main room in front of Nijenda who's sitting on a chair in front of the others. I understand the situation. Naruto. Would you like to join the night raid? Nijenda asks which Naruto gives a nod seeing her hand extended. I already said yes, though I have no more reason to even live, but only one thing that keeps me going, one goal which this group will help me achieve revenge, I want to seal that bastard prime minister's soul in wicked jester, and suffer for all the sins he's committed then, I can finally kill myself, Naruto said, while the others are white-eyed at what he said. Interestingly, you see there's an anti-imperial force, the revolutionary army, whose headquarters lie to the far south of the capital. Though they started small, the army has grown into an organization of considerable size. Thus, they needed a smaller team to carry out covert operations, such as intelligence gathering, and assassination. That team is us. Nitrate. Though we are currently charged with mere pest control, once we mobilize, we'll use the ensuing confusion to reach the Prime Minister, and crush the Empire's corruption at its source. And at that moment, the country will be born anew, Nijenda says, causing Naruto to smile widely at that. Each one of us has a reason to fight. We're all prepared for what could happen. With you it's revenge. As well as you'll be compensated with your hard work, you will be able to save your village, Nijenda said, which Naruto nodded. You may never be able to return to that village of yours, you know, mine said, but all Naruto did was look away. That was never my home, the chief found me after I never mind, I'd rather not talk about it, Naruto said, causing mine to look away while Nijenda smiles. Welcome to the bloody life of an assassin, Naruto. This meeting is adjourned for tonight, Nijenda said while Naruto glanced at Akame, who seems to be looking at him. Akame, Nijenda said, drawing her attention. I'll leave Naruto's training to you, Nijenda said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise, as he turned towards Akame. If he becomes a burden, feel free to kill him, Nijenda said to which Akame nodded. Understood, Akame said in the same exact tone she talks in. Wow, that's hurtful, Naruto said while Leon chuckles, and grabs Naruto by his shoulder. Work hard cause your life depends on it Leon says while Naruto looks into Akame's eyes, and can't help but smile, while Akame blinks in surprise. While Nijenda is staring at Naruto with narrowed eyes. Could it be the one that I heard about, Nijenda thought to herself hearing about a certain case which was horrible that happened 6 years ago. Kitchen. Let's learn, as many skills, as possible so we can climb the army's ranks. Is was what Seo said at the table with all three cutting potatoes. If we learn all about food, we're less likely to go hungry, is what Ayasu said while cutting potatoes. Naruto smiles to himself thinking of the past. Seo Ayasu I'll avenge you, and send that demon to a world of nightmares. Naruto thought to himself while peeling potatoes at the counter while wearing a kitchen. Hey. Where's my second helping? Banshee I mean mine said. Oh, bring me some too. Bullet asks. Same here, Lobux says. Please she'll ask Naruto, causing him to sigh at this. Later that day, man there's a lot of food to get ready, Naruto said, as he's cutting the carrots. No point in complaining. You're with me, and I'm in charge of the food, Akame said, tasting the good there. You're only in charge of the food so you can snack on everything, aren't you? Naruto asked, raising an eyebrow. Of course not, Akame said, as she ate another grape causing Naruto to laugh at this. Well, I don't believe you, Naruto said, and heard an annoying banshee. That outfit really suits a newbie like you, mine said while Naruto continued cutting the rest of the carrots. Whatever you say pink banshee, I don't care, Naruto says, causing another tick mark to form on mine's forehead, at the mean yet hilarious nickname which suits her perfectly. Hey, Naruto, Vula said, causing Naruto to blink in surprise. Where are you guys going anyway? Naruto asks them. We're on an emergency assignment, Bula said, which Naruto instantly understands, since he can't just go on a mission when he just got here. You can hold though are you even listening mine yells at someone who was cut off by Naruto falling asleep, and wakes up. Guys, where's the annoying alarm clock that woke me up Naruto asks, will the others hold back their chuckles, while mine's eye twitches which they then leave. Naruto goes back to cutting while Akame notices some kind of scar, and a burn on Naruto's arm, but it disappears, as Naruto moves his sleeves back down. I'll get more of the veritable Naruto, she nods, not asking if what she saw was correct. Next day, both are on the edge of a small cliff looking at a waterfall. It's quite nice, Naruto said while Akame loosens her tie. Today, we'll gather our prey from this lake, Akame said, as he tie drops to the ground which Naruto turns to her to find her lifting her shirt up, causing him to blush madly, as he stumbles backwards, and trips, and falls on his butt looking at Akame, his skirt falls down to show she's wearing a swimsuit. Why are you panicking Akame asks, putting a hand on her hip while Naruto just swallows. Whoa, Naruto said, as she walked past him towards the edge of the cliff. Today, our target is the Kogatuna. This is the best location, Akame said, causing him to blink in surprise. Aren't this fish harder? Naruto was cut off, as Akame dived in the water while doing a flip. Suddenly after 5 seconds their fish fly into the air into the basket. What the Naruto says, as Akame rises from the water while Naruto turns to her surprise. Dive into the depths of the lake, and remain absolutely still. The moment your prey draws near, you strike. Concentration is the key. 
Can you do it? Akame asks, as Naruto smiles, putting the basket down, and goes to remove his coat, but stops and freezes, confusing Akame. Naruto bites his lip thinking what he should do then sighs, grabbing his coat. Promise me you won't say a thing, Naruto said causing her to blink in surprise, but she nods while Naruto begins removing his clothes until he's down to his boxers, and what Akame sees horrifies her Naruto's body shows tons of scars she burns, as well as deep slash wounds on his body while there's a brand on the middle of his chest, looking like this fanfiction image or more precisely Wicked Joker's face. Without uttering a word Naruto dives into the water fast. After a total of 5 seconds 5 fish fly out of the water into the basket, and Naruto rises from the water, with his back turned towards Akame, his eyes widen more in shock, seeing deep whipping scars on Naruto's back, which he turns to her with a sad look on his face. Don't just don't say anything, Naruto said, as he swam towards the shore which Akame swam after him. As Naruto walks up the shore he finds himself stopped by Akame grabbing his hand. You were slave, was all that Akame said which Naruto grits his teeth like his arm away, and begins walking away before Akame hugs Naruto from behind without saying a thing. Please just let go. I don't want any treatment like this since I just joined yesterday, so just let go, Naruto said, but she strengthens her hold on Naruto which Naruto turns, and his eyes widen fully, as he sees it, the same brand on her back. You also, Naruto was cut off by Akame. When me and my sister were just kids our parents sold us into slavery it was hell for both of us. But on that day it was you wasn't it? You were the one that freed everyone Akame yelled loudly and shook while Naruto looked away. Just leave me alone, Naruto said, pushing her arms away as he walks up the hill while Nijenda is watching from a tree with narrowed eyes next to a sad looking Leon. I was right, he was the one from the report. The one that was found by the revolutionary army who were searching for the missing children, Nijenda said while Leon looked at Nijenda questionably. I looked at the reports, and they found the camp that had the slaves. They began executing children since they knew they were being followed, and didn't want the children to say anything, but about 153 escaped because of him. When we arrived the 247 guards they were massacred, a lot missing their heads, and turning apart. That found that boy in the center of the bloody mess holding onto that blade, the wicked jester when they tried to take it, they instantly died having their seeds absorbed into the blade, that young man was only 10, without a doubt he killed them since Tigu, the wicked jester, had a pass of controlling his users except one one, who seeked revenge which the jester helped achieve, I don't know it fully, but he is by far the most dangerous person in the capital, the chief of his village took Naruto and a few days later, after what happened his parents were killed by the slavers, Nijenda said, causing Leon's eyes to whiten, as they watched Naruto's retreat form. It's hard to believe they came from the same camp, Leon said looking at Akame who's looking down. Back to Naruto. Naruto is currently walking through the woods fully dressed while he grips Wicked Jester's hilt. Flashback 6 years ago, Naruto is currently within a cage by himself, while there's other children are currently within cages, looking like they haven't eaten in weeks while looking skinny and bony. What, are you serious? Someone yelled seeing the leader arguing with one of the other slavers. Yeah the revolutionary army is coming towards us, as we speak, we have to get rid of all these children first, the man said, causing the leader to sigh, and nod. Do it, kill them all we can get more children any time we want, the leader says, as he nods while Naruto looks up weakly to find the man currently stabbing children with swords, causing Naruto's eyes to whiten, as he starts crawling towards the bars trying get free schemed, he hears the children screaming, while one by one they're being silenced which Naruto looks in horror, as they're smiling, as they execute the children. Why does this have to happen? Why me? God, why do I have to suffer, tell me. Naruto thought, as his eyes whiten more, as tears are coming from his eyes, as one soldier is standing in front of him, and stabs him though the stomach, causing him to vomit out blood, as he stops moving which the Sada rips his sword out which the man turns away, while Naruto has white eyes, as he's losing a lot of blood which the tears finally stops, as it's replaced by rage. Damn damn you all to hell. I refuse to die like this. Naruto screamed while vomiting up more blood, while the men are ignoring Naruto knowing he'll die soon. I'll drag you all to hell. I'll kill you with bare hands. Do you hear me with my bare hands? Naruto screams which he feels is, as darkness appears in front if he has his eyes lay upon the wicked jester's blade. You want the power to punish them all, then use me. Use my power whenever you want, but in return you must keep killing, sending more and more to my world. You must drag them all to my world. The voice, as Naruto extends his right hand grabbing the blade. I don't care, if you give me power then I don't care, I want to make them pay, all of them Naruto yelled, as he hears laughter when the blade explodes from darkness, drawing everyone's attention as the campfires blow out, as they all witness the cage explode, and to which they find Naruto consumed by darkness, and it becomes pitch black, and what appears next is shocking. It's the wicked jester's humanoid form, as well as he looks like an adult. You actually came, my lord can you kill the- He was cut off, as his head chest flew, and all the cages suddenly opened, as the slavers stared at Naruto is holding onto his blade. This isn't your world, not anymore. 
Naruto says, as he charges at them, and in one movement chops the leader's legs off, and a black hand comes off Naruto's body grabbing the leader who's screaming, and rips his soul out which is then absorbed by the blade. I'll kill every last one of you Naruto roars loudly, as he begins ripping past more, and more. You mind all of you Naruto roared, as the children are running away while a kid Akame and Kurum are currently running, but Kurum trips, falling down before they can do anything, two soldiers take the kids as hostages. Why are you doing this? We sacrifice these children to you. Stay back, or we'll slice the- He was cut off, as both their heads fly off, as the body's neck gushes blood, while both Akame and Kurum are shot, as Naruto stares down at them. Leave Naruto ordered, and roared loudly causing both girls to clasp barriers. Now, Naruto said, walking towards the rest who were running into the woods. Let me hear you scream, the hunt begins. Naruto roars, as the everlasting smile on the wicked jester's face whitens. Throughout the night was filled with screams of terror and horror. Thirty minutes later, ha ha, I killed them. They've all been sent to Jester's world, yes. I avenged my parents, and the children, no one survived. Naruto said his entire body is covered in blood, then he falls to his knees on the bloody grass, where the smile turns to an upside-down smile, while tears begin coming from his eyes, which open up to show Naruto's crying face. There is no god this world I'm in hell, Naruto said, as he hit the bloody grass which his body turned into darkness, as it came off of him showing his body fully healed by still in the same condition before he got stabbed while the darkness entered the sword in Naruto's hands. You're the one that was truly magnificent, far more than my last favorite, Wicked Jester said, as Naruto can be heard laughing before he passes out. Thanks for watching my video, leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and also do consider subscribing to my channel for more awesome content. See you next time, till then sayonara.